Hi guys, it's Janet. The video today is, of course, a haul. Um, since I already kind of know how the house is going to be, you know, I definitely know the layout. I've taken a lot of videos of it. And um, I picked, you know, we picked the floors, we picked the colors, basically. I know how I want to decorate it. So I've been buying stuff for that. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. In our kitchen, uh, we're doing like kind of a marble-ish, uh, it's called like quartz, I guess, is a countertop. It's not granite, it's quartz. It's supposedly really good, like you can cut on it. Like it's just supposedly um, better than granite, it won't chip, etc. So it's a really pretty kind of white marbly look. So I wanna do, um, since the counters are white marble and then we picked like a gray backsplash and our cabinets are kind of like a gray color and our floors are, grayish brownish hardwood um the kitchen colors are going to be white marble uh copper rose gold some ac some regular gold accents and then like this black matte i don't know if you guys can envision this but um i have it all right here so i got this just a paper towel holder um in like a copper color i bought this at marshall's for $5.99 so all the stores I've been going to are just, and I'm not gonna put them in any order, so I'm sorry about that, um, but I've been going to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and um, Z Gallery. I just got like one thing from Z Gallery, but anyway, so this is one thing for the kitchen. Uh, so basically I'm gonna wanna have like a coffee bar in set up in the kitchen, and this is gonna be for that coffee bar area, so it's a little milk and creamer, um, or sugar and creamer thing. I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna put milk in there. Like I probably won't. I'll probably put like um, sweeteners and stuff like that. I don't know, I haven't decided, but I also got this tray and this tray was from Marshalls and it was only $10. So um, this is where I'm gonna like display some of the stuff for the coffee bar. I just think it's really cute. And it was, I can't even believe it was only $10. So I think the original price was, $36 but I got it for 10 and then I got these copper colored um, measuring cups I actually got these uh, at world market for like seven dollars so super inexpensive and then I bought this um, like cake stand I don't know what I'm gonna put on top of it I haven't decided it doesn't have a lid so I'll probably I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll film it for you guys what I end up doing and it'll be months down the road. But anyway, um, something to look forward to. So just this rose gold cake stand. I got it at Home Goods. Uh, it was $12.99. I think it's super cute. Kind of is going with this theme of mine. Uh, from West Elm, which I had to order this online because they didn't have it in the store, but um, I got this like little canister that says coffee and this is the black mat that I'm talking about. So I'm going to have this black mat, the marble and the rose gold. Um, so that's that. That'll be part of the coffee area. And then another thing in that black mat, which is another color that we're going to have is this cake stand. And I don't know if you can see how matte the color is, but I really like the way it looks. And this one is from Macy's. You can see all my little prints on there, but this is from Macy's and I don't know where I'm going to put this either exactly, but we have like tons and tons of counter space, so I'm super excited. Okay, and then I got this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh yeah, you can. So this is like a utensil holder. I've seen them at other places for like $30 or $40, but I got this one at Target for $15, so... Uh, yeah, I still got the receipt in there, but super cute. So I'm gonna put like rose gold um, serving spoons that I saw online at Urban Outfitters, but I haven't gotten them yet. So I got that. Also for the coffee bar area, I bought this French press, which I love it. It's so cute. It's um, really nice. And I actually have like two other French presses. I did not need another one but I just had to have it so it'll go on my coffee bar area and I think it's gonna be so cute. Um, I 
I get to display it. This tree actually weighs a lot. But like this, you know. Oh, what do you guys think? It's be so cute. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx for $29.99 and um, I love it. Okay, I think that's everything that I've got pretty much for the kitchen area. This is just, I got this at Target. Uh, it's a lantern. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. And um, my husband was gonna throw away our s'mores little majiggers and I said no way. So I stuck them in there for now. But um, this is gonna go in our bar area because I have a gold bar cart right now. And this matches it perfectly. So I'm gonna set it up, I don't know where. I'll show you guys when I do, but somewhere in either the dining room or maybe even the patio, I'm not sure. Um, but I got that. To go with that, um, I got another tray. I am like tray crazy, but I got this white tray, super plain, with that same, you can't really tell, but it's that same kind of muted gold on here. And I got this, um, at Michael's it was 50% off so it was like 10 bucks and um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it in the dining area or if I'll put it on my patio because um, I already have like how I'm gonna decorate on my patio and I might put this out there so I'm not sure but this tray okay the next thing I picked up for the um, dining room area and I think it's so freaking cute um, I don't of cake stands. Well, look at this you guys. How cute is this? It's like a mini cake stand or I don't know. You can put cookies in here. This is from Z Gallery. So when I saw it there, they actually have coasters inside, which I don't know why they would put coasters in there, but um, I might put like little cookies or macaroons in there or something. Um, but I think it's so super cute and like I said, it's from Z Gallery. Uh, there's another larger one that I want to purchase. Um, I just haven't gotten that one yet. This one was only $25 and I think the bigger one is like $30 or $35. So I love it. Okay, and then I bought this totally random, but I do want to have a lot of greenery around the house uh, with it being like real plants and then these little fake ones. Um, so I bought this. It's super cute. I don't know where I'll put it, but it was $3, so I got it. Um, it could be in the guest room, wherever, who knows. Um, but I thought it was cute. Okay, so moving on to uh, the master bedroom. I'm redoing the whole thing. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, but the colors, I don't know yet. I'm, I think we're going to get a new bed. Crossing my fingers, I can sell my old bed. But I'm envisioning... envisioning um, a sapphire blue headboard and then and I bought this um, and then I bought this already like a comforter so it's a king size comforter and it's gray some of you guys can see that but um, I'm gonna have that as a comforter the sapphire blue bed uh, super crisp white sheets and a bunch of white throat pillows and then, and then I got this guy. Oh my God, you guys, I love this pillow so much. It is freaking humongous, like, look at that. It is like gorgeous. They only had one and I literally have been going back to Home Goods like once a week to see if they get more. It was only $25, but this is the blue of accent color, like accents that I want in the bedroom, so see I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it's just like a really um, so I'm really excited about having this like new whole bedroom uh, we're gonna have a seating area it's just gonna be gorgeous so um, I got that comforter and I bought this so far and I'll probably put this white pillow next to it so um, that's an old pillow though but um, that's what I'm thinking of what I've been doing is I've kind of like set up set it up a little bit just to see what it looks like take pictures of it that way I can pack everything away but um, yeah that's pretty much everything that I've bought so far for the house I was gonna show you one more thing before I go something that I made is so so as you know I'm like a DIY queen or I try to DIY when I can um, and I made this tray and wanted to share it with you guys so 
if you guys can see, it's like a marble slab, like literally. Uh, we've been going to Home Depot a bunch and I found this and it was like $5, I'm not kidding. So what I ended up doing is spray painting the whole thing in the back, rose gold or copper, and then I kind of spray painted the edge, well, I actually spray painted the edges, and then I bought these poles from Home Depot and I spray painted them rose gold as well, and there it is. So I think I spent like, and the poles were like ten dollars I already had the spray paint so I think I spent fifteen dollars making this um, which I totally love so yeah it'll be like a cheese plate or I don't even know I mean it's not perfect but it's super cute tell me what, what you guys think okay. so that's all I have today sorry this video isn't like organized at all like I've just kind of threw everything at you guys um but I hope you still like everything you saw. Maybe you'll get some ideas. Uh, I will definitely do home decor tours when my house is ready, um, just to share you with you guys like how I'm decorating. Cause I'm so excited to have a house. Show your support by subscribing below and giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.